In this video, we're going to take a look at some odd things that might occur as we're solving a system of equations by substitution. Here we have y plus 4 equals 3x, and 2y minus 6x equals negative 8. When solving by substitution, we look for a lone variable or one that we can get alone quickly. In the first equation, the y is really easy to get alone by subtracting 4 from both sides. We don't quite have enough space, so let's move it over to the right here. That'll give us y equals 3x minus 4. Now what we can do is if y equals 3x minus 4, we can replace the y in the other equation with this 3x minus 4. The other equation is 2y, so now it's 2 times 3x minus 4. The second equation continues, minus 6x equals negative 8, and then I can solve this resulting equation. Distribute the 2 through, gives us 6x minus 8, minus 6x equals negative 8, and then we'll combine like terms. 6x minus 6x is 0. There's no x's left, we just have negative 8 on the left side, and negative 8 on the right side. This is interesting. The variables have subtracted out completely. What does this mean? Let's take a closer look. How often does negative 8 equal negative 8? Always. Because negative 8 always equals negative 8, what this is going to tell us that if I have a pair of combinations that works in the first equation, the pair of numbers will also work in the second equation. This is equivalent to when we were graphing lines, and if the first line went like that, the second line would go the same direction right on top of it. If it works in one, it works in the other. If we get a true statement like negative 8 equals negative 8, what this means is we have an infinite number of solutions. There's an infinite number of solutions that make both equations true. But that's not the only odd thing that can happen. Consider this problem, 6x minus 3y equals negative 9, and negative 2x plus y equals 5. The y's clearly our lone variable, so to get him alone, we'll add 2x to both sides of the second equation. And we get y equals 5 plus 2x, which means we can replace the y in the other equation with 5 plus 2x. So the other equation is 6x minus 3y, which we're going to replace with 5 plus 2x, equals negative 9. And then we can start solving this equation, like always, by distributing the 3 through. Gives us 6x minus 15, minus 6x equals negative 9. And then when we combine like terms, 6x minus 6x, we get 0. The x's have subtracted out completely, and we're left with negative 15 on the left side, and negative 9 on the right side. What does this tell us? Does negative 15 equal negative 9? No, they are not equal to each other. What this tells us is if we get a false statement that does not work, that means if I have a combination that works in the first equation, it's guaranteed to not work in the second equation. We'll never find a combination of numbers that works in both equations. This is equivalent to when we were graphing. If the first line went like this, the second line would be parallel to it. They would never intersect. When they never intersect, we never have a combination that's going to work, we are going to say there is no solution to this system of equations. If we get a false statement, there's no solution. If we get a true statement, there's infinite solutions, or what normally happens is we'll find an x-y pair.